What is the state of Oklahoma's GDP? With a growth rate of 0.3% between 2021 and 2022, Oklahoma's GDP hit $197 billion that year. Over the five years before 2022, Oklahoma's GDP grew at an annualized rate of 1%. Oklahoma's GDP growth over the prior five years also places it at number 42 among the 50 states in the United States. Gross state product, also known as GDP, is a measure of a state's economic production. It's the total value generated by all industries operating within the state. It's widely regarded as a barometer of a state's economic vitality. Which sectors generate the most money for the state of Oklahoma? Curious to know more? Then stay tuned for that. Hello there guys and welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Having said that, let's get on with the video. Oil drilling and gas extraction, refining petroleum, and gasoline and petroleum wholesaling were the top three industries in Oklahoma in terms of revenue in 2022 with respective totals of $38.7 billion, $18.7 billion, and $16.4 billion. In 2022, the three largest Oklahoma employers were Walmart Inc., Integris Health Inc. and the Chickasaw Nation with 35,357, 8,500 and 7,450 workers respectively. To what extent does each industry contribute to Oklahoma's GDP? In 2022, the top three contributors to Oklahoma's gross domestic product were the mining industry, the real estate and rental and leasing industry, and the manufacturing industry, together accounting for 41.8% of the state's GDP. To get a sense of how the economy of the state is changing over time and which industries are most valuable to its growth, we can examine GDP trends by sector. Can you break down Oklahoma's job market by industry? In 2022, 40.6% of Oklahomans found work in the healthcare and social assistance, retail trade, and accommodation and food services industries. It's useful to look at employment trends by industry to see whether parts of the state's economy are expanding or decreasing at a faster rate than others. What effects have recent employment trends had on Oklahoma? Oklahoma will have 1,595,221 employed people in 2022, 32nd in the United States. Oklahoma's yearly job growth rate is 1.6%, which is lower than the national average of 3.7%. In 2022, Oklahoma's healthcare and social assistance industry employed 246,670 people, followed by retail with 208,814 and lodging and food services with 156,341. Oklahoma's unemployment rate will be 3% in 2022, the 15th lowest among the 50 states. Oklahoma's unemployment rate fell by 5.4% between 2012 and 2022, which is lower than the national average, but greater than other states. Employment patterns represent a country's economy and labor market. Low unemployment rates indicate tight labor markets, whereas quick job creation indicates an expanding economy. How much disposable income does each Oklahoma resident have? Disposable Personal Income DPI, also known as Disposable Income or Per Capita Disposable Income, is the amount of money left over after paying income taxes in a given economy. Oklahoma ranked 49th out of the 50 states in terms of DPI in 2022 with a figure of $51,000 compared to the national average of $56.6,000. One of the most important metrics of economic health, disposable income reflects changes in aggregate demand, the health of the labor market, and the stability of household finances. What can we learn about a state's economy from looking at, a con from looking at construction trends? Oklahoma's non-residential building market was $3.8 billion in 2022, ranking 17th in the United States. Oklahoma spent $84.9 million on residential buildings in 2022, ranking 40th. Oklahoma issued 15,040 building permits between 2017 and 2022, which is a 6.1% increase. Changes in the construction industry affect jobs, earnings, and tax revenue. Construction activity affects manufacturing, wholesaling, warehousing, 
transportation, real estate, rental and leasing. Changes in the building industry might indicate economic development or stagnation. In 2022, the populations of Oklahoma County, 816,130 people, Tulsa County, 666,012 people, and Cleveland County, 292,211 people, make them the three counties with the greatest totals in the state. That's it, everyone. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below and let us know. Thank you all for watching the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to put on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.